The key walls in the port of Hamburg play a very special and important role. To ensure safe operations in the port, the key walls have to be intact. With these water depths, they're still working 100 years later, and that shows how well constructed they were. The significance of key walls and the challenges they face. In this edition of Port is What We Do, we meet Dunja Gerken and Frank Feint from the Hamburg Port Authority. On our tour of the port, we'll be going to all sorts of key walls. In the port of Hamburg, there are more than 40 kilometers key walls. Some of them are older than 100 years. The Holthusen key, for example, dates back to 1912. It's over 100 years old, but still reliably doing what it was built for. The Holthusen key was built in the early days. It's a classical old heavyweight key wall supported by wooden pillars, which you can see here, with stone on top. Even though the key walls can last so long, they too need to be modernized. And Frank Feind explains the challenges involved. The ships are getting bigger and bigger, so we need even bigger pillars, or the foundations of the pillars need to be even bigger. And of course, the port of Hamburg is tidal, so every day the water level goes up and down more than three meters. And that's a big challenge for a key wall. We continue to the Zautzgitter key. Dredging work is ongoing here as part of maintenance on the key wall. It quickly becomes clear that this key is a very different construction to the Holthusen key. This is a steel sheet pile wall, as you can see. If you look at the lower part, you see steel concrete pillars, on top of which you have the key sheet wall, and if you look inside, there's quite a lot of water pressure on the wall, which is a major difference, and that means that this wall is exposed to more extreme forces than the Holthusen key. The key walls in the port of Hamburg have to bear enormous loads, so they're inspected regularly. If reinforcement is needed, that means extensive work because most of the key wall is underwater. To illustrate this, you can imagine a 12 or 14 storey building built down into the ground. These are the kind of dimensions we're talking about. And if you look at the ships that dock here, and the container cranes that we need here for unloading, they're gigantic. Then you can see how massive these constructions are. So let's go to the last key wall of the day, and here we learn about what they call the Hamburg construction method. In the first row here, you can see what we call the friction pillar, which bears half of the load of the front container track. The other half is borne by the sheet piling. But when you look down through it, you can see that the water pressure is relatively low because there are two rows of sheet piling. We have one at the front, and then about 50 meters back, another one. And the Hamburg construction method is used by many other ports. Port is what we do. 